Welcome to the Mark West Sports Podcast. Welcome to the Mark West Sports Podcast. I'm your host, Marcus Benjamin, along with Wesley Pierre. And you already know what it is. You see what it is. Miami Heat, baby. The season Mm -hmm. starts today. So let's see what's going on with the Eastern Conference champions. Uh, I think the banner goes up in the AAA today. Uh, So hopefully they can bring back uh, a a better banner uh, this year. Uh, But we are going to start on the Miami Dolphins, because it's getting close. It's getting close to playoff time. It's crunch time. And the Dolphins crunched the Patriots last week, uh, beating them 22 to 12, I believe was the final score. Mm -hmm. And the best part of that win is that they eliminated the evil empire. The evil empire is over. You know, they... They ain't no Empire Strikes Back. They ain't no, you know, Force Awakens. There ain't no sequel to this. <laughs> this is over, you know. Uh, the Jedi Knights, the Dolphins reign supreme on, on Sunday. Uh, they they took out the Patriots uh, relatively easy when it came to how many points they scored. But we still struggled on offense a little bit. Um you know, but like we touched on before, a lot of injuries, you know, uh, but despite all of them injuries, uh, we're able to overcome that. One real bright spot from the game, Wes, was the boy Ahmed going for 100 yards. And oh, yeah. so, you know, I feel like we pull we pull a dude off of, you know, the street, you know, uh, out of the unemployment line to, to come and play running back. And he put on that uh, – that aqua and orange and became Superman on Sunday. So oh, yeah. I'm real proud of, proud of him and how, how they played. But most importantly, glad to see that the Dolphins were the team to eliminate the Patriots from playoff oh, contention on Sunday. Oh, yeah, definitely, man. I mean, we kind of figured that. We kind of told y'all what it was. We said it was going to be a close game. I think I believe we said – I think I said the score was going to be 21 to maybe like – 15 or something like that. Something around the yeah. lines. We got to go back in and, and yeah, watch the tape. Check, you feel me? Because that, yeah. when I seen the score and I'm like, yo, I'm like, it's like close to the score I said, but you know, I'm, I'm neither here or there, but yeah, man, the Dolphins went ahead and pulled another victory off. Of course, like Marcus said, it was against the evil empire. We definitely eliminated Bill Belichick first time. in I think since 2008 didn't make the playoffs you know, yeah. so, so it always feel good when you can go ahead and eliminate um, Bill Belichick in the evil empire in the New England Patriots. But, yeah, um, like what Marcus said, you know, you had um, – we had injuries, you know, all our our um, wide receivers, tight ends, you know, even offensive linemen, you know, Solomon Kennedy wound up getting injured. You know, uh, hopefully uh, – it looked like a knee injury. Hopefully it's not something serious because, you know, he's our mauler. He's the one that – that set the tone. He's our new Richie Incognito without the problems. You know what I'm saying? He's going. He's he. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm, dead, I'm dead serious. You know, he's gonna go ahead oh, and, 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 and be that individual that you want to go to the club with. And if, if a fight pop off, you know you're good. You know, I, I, he wore ready. But 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 yeah, um, our running game was de- on, like not more than decent. You know, you had Ahmed Ahmed come. Um, I don't know why they say um call him Ahmed. You feel me? No, it looked like it say Ahmed. It don't. You feel me? It don't look like it say yeah, Ahmed. Yeah. You feel me? Like I'm we black, sure so we that's know how he wants to pronounce. Okay, okay, all right. Ahmed, you know, Ahmed. I'm sure he, he wants to pronounce you like that. Just like street. it's, it's Tonga Vailoa, and it's oh, not, yeah. it's really Tonga Vailoa the way it's spelled. So hey, it's how I, exactly. But yeah. yeah, um, he wind up coming off the street and. And, you know, giving the Dolphins, like, you know, something that we didn't have all season, you know. Of course, yeah, we knew that it was coming against the New England Patriots. They, they're really trash right now in the running game. I know Bill Belichick hella hot about that because he's a defensive-minded coach first before anything. And when 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 you wind up, um, I know you're rebuilding, but, you know, and you had a lot of people wind up, um, you know, not, not 
you know, playing this season because of um, COVID and they wind up opting out. But still, it doesn't matter, you know, just like what the Dolphins wind up doing. You know, we have players that's injured. You know, we have players that go through the um, COVID, um, you know, four, two, two week situation, you know, and we wind up prevailing every time. Ahmed came, did his thing. Breeder came in, did his thing. It kind of made me question it, you know, like in the season, I'm like, damn, we get this motherfucker all this money and his ass hasn't been able to really play. And if he did play, he really didn't show me much. But again, like I told you, man, December, you know, this is this is the time that you want a good running game. And I don't mind our running games wind up happening now. You feel me? In December, you know, um, you got Breida. Um, you know, he's – I don't know how long he's been in the league, but he's not no rookie. He's been in the league a few years. Let's just say that wind up um, – Brian Flores wind up using um, this, this, this plethora – uh, or a team of running backs um, using the rookies in the beginning, you know, to get them some 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 reps in, you know, because um, we ain't had no preseason, and then let the veterans come in later on in the season at this time when you need a a um, veteran running back that's on um, winning to carry the ball, and, and that's what it seemed like we got right now with Breida. You know, Breida and Breida wound up saying that he feels 100% healthy. You know, we know that most individuals that when they did test te- um, positive for COVID, they came back um, and not they self. You've seen Miles Garrett, you know, he got the COVID. He wind up um, not coming back the same as he was was before he got COVID. Um, you know, same thing with, with um, Cam Newton. You know, um, he got the COVID. He was balling in the beginning, you know, wind up. Um, they was praising him in, in, the, in the media, got COVID, came back, and he's not been the same person. So, you know, happy to see that the Dolphins running game um, wind up prevailing with the COVID. You know, whatever it was, we wind up making it happen. Um, we had a trick play that wind up happening, and they took that back, same like when we did it against Cincinnati Bengals, you know, um, took a touchdown away. We, Me and Marcus was complaining about that shit, you know, yeah. and then the same thing happened again this week, not a touchdown, but for a gain of like 20 yards, you know, and, you know, they said that the guy didn't, didn't um, check in. And the crazy thing is the guy that, that, that they accused him that didn't check in, he had four witnesses seen him check in. So I don't know, you know, that goes back to Belichick and the NFL trying to, um, you know, smother the Miami teams, period. Dolphins, heat, you know, it don't matter what it is. But yeah, that game was that game was 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 a perfect game for me. Um, I don't mind Tua not being um, that person because remember I told you, you know, you got Justin Herbert. You know, you remember when I was comparing him to certain quarterbacks, you know, and you got me right. He, he was like, well, he's like on, on Philip Rivers. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, he's like a Philip Rivers. You're gonna pass. You're gonna have all these yards. You're gonna have these touchdowns, but you're not gonna win no ring, you know. And I told you like he's gonna be like the Tom Brady's. You know, not saying that he is Tom Brady, you know, even though Tom Brady is Tom Shady, you know, but but regardless of the fact, he's accurate. He's accurate in in the short yardage game. And, you know, that's kind of one of the things that people are trying to knock on um, two or four for being accurate. I, I mean, damn, I don't mind getting five yards, seven yards. I don't mind getting eight yards. And then sometimes, you know, you're going to go ahead and get a 15, 20 yarder, you know. So so right now, everything that we've kind of been saying this whole season is happening the way that we've been saying it. If you don't believe yeah. it, go back and check in the tapes. Yeah, um, we also did say that the Dolphins would make the playoffs. So for those that don't know, the scenario is we went out, we pretty much win um, and get into the playoffs. There still is a scenario where we can win one out of two games and still get in. Uh, so if the Browns lose both of their games, we win one out of two. Uh, we can get in. And I think if uh, the Ravens, if they lose one of their games and we win one out of two, then we also get in. What about, so, the, what about the, what about the Pittsburgh Steelers? Because the Pittsburgh Steelers, like they, they, you know, um, they're, they're not themselves. I think they lost three in a row and, 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 and you know, they lose one or two more and you know, they have the same record as the Dolphins or any other of these teams in the AFC. So, you know, uh, we, you know, that's another scenario that may wind up popping up, you know, the last week of, of the season, you know, because if they do lose this week coming and, 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 
and you know that last game, you know, it's gonna be like you know whatever your record is, you're you know I think eleven and four now. You know, suppose everybody that you know we kind of discussed last week because remember we said it was like some teams are ten and five, a lot of teams was nine and four. You know, so it was kind of like jam packed in the AFC. So I mean, last time I checked, Pittsburgh was in the AFC. So you know, you know, you yeah, lose Pittsburgh more actually already uh they already clinched. They already uh, clinched. They already clinched the playoff berth, so God, they're already man. in it regardless. You know, they well, could probably, lose yeah, the rest of their game. Their division. And they could still get in. Uh, but so something to think about is that we might play them uh, depending on if they win uh, in the first round. So, you know, I wouldn't mind mind that at all. Uh, I want to say a couple of more things about that Dolphins game is uh, that X-Man uh, had – a scoop and score taken away from him. Did you see that, man? Like, yo, I, I couldn't believe that they took that thing away from him because <laughs> dude from our team, like, grazed the football with, like, his arm or something. And when he did that, he was out of bounds, so they called it out of bounds. And we, we not only got the touchdown taken away from us, but we actually had to give the ball back to the Patriots, which is just shameful because – X man needs to, uh, uh, you know, get all the props that he does. And fortunately for this week, he did receive the uh, pick to go to the Pro Bowl. So he's the only Miami Dolphins. I remember we were talking about this. I was like, yeah, X man. I remember I was like, X man's probably going to be the only one taken. I mean, they they did. That's bullshit. They snubbed um Akba for they, real. They snubbed Baker. He got six sacks. He's a linebacker. They snubbed. Uh, 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 what's his name? The guy that came from Wisconsin, um, the one that's everywhere, the fucking linebacker, Van Ginkle, yeah. you know, Ginkle. he got six sacks, you know, and, 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 and then he didn't make the pro bowl. You got Agba that got how much sacks? Eight sacks, and he didn't make the yeah. pro bowl. You got out of all of them. Kicker. I think Agba should have definitely made it out of. You got our kicker that, that got didn't snubbed. make the pro bowl. You know, yeah, they only choose one kicker, and I think the other kicker beats them by like one kick. So, yeah, it is what it is. But at least X Man got in there for a one player uh, to get into uh, the Pro Bowl. What was that? That's stupid. Only have one kicker for 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 the Pro one player. Bowl. You should have, yeah, yeah. Two, it's two. Yeah, That's but two you know, kickers. but the thing is, it's like the Dolphins are kind of like the Miami Heat in that respect. It's like you got no real big superstars. You really got one superstar. And Jimmy Butler, I think, and then I don't you really got, care. I don't you got care. the one because the Miami and Dolphins, X-Men. the Dolphins. You remember the no name Dolphin? No name well, Dolphins. Defense. Right, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So again, at the end of the day, why can't it be the same way? Like, you know, I, I mean, I understand. You know, you, you got to have these big names, but fuck that. Yeah, man. it All is what it is. The Pro Bowl is, is is garbage anyway. Nobody really cares about the game. People just care about the yeah. selections because yeah. it matters on people's resume when it comes to the Hall of Fame. And not just that, um, but we don't even watch that shit. We don't watch nobody it. Nobody watches watch it, really. I never, I mean, I don't I can't remember the last time I actually watched the Pro Bowl. Uh, yeah. it, it's, it's a bad watch. I, I think they should change it to 7-on-7, seven seven, but that's another topic for another day. Uh, as far as the division is concerned, uh, we know how that got decided, and that got decided this week too with the Buffalo Bills winning easily against the Denver Broncos, forty to six. So they win the division. And if you ask me, Wes, they they look like the hottest team in the league right now. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if this team made it to the playoffs, and I I mean not made it to the playoffs, but made it to the Super Bowl. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if this team made it because they have every they have every everything that you want in a in a team, and uh, I think their defense is slightly better than the Chiefs' defense. So, I mean, look out for the Bills, but we do play them, and they probably rest their guys um, for for the final game because sure. likely everything should be wrapped up by that last week. Uh, so we do play the Bills, but uh, hopefully we have a really good showing against them. Uh, but they look like a really strong team in the AFC. Wow. I didn't like it because, of course, I hate the Bills, you know. But, but but you know, it, it, it is what it is, man. You know, the way that I look at the Miami Dolphins right now, even though you got the Bills that wind up clinching in the AFC, our division, exact, 
You know, it doesn't matter. I mean, when we played them, we didn't look that horrible. You know, they won. They won a. They won a close game against Miami. When 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 Kansas City played Miami, you know, they 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 scored off of a fluke um, of special teams kick on run back and another fluke with Bobby McCain being injured and you wind up getting a bomb and having your receiver um, get behind our defenders. So it don't matter. I don't care who you actually play in the playoffs. I just want to make the playoffs. Um, I look at, at their team. I understand, you know, they do look decent, but again, you're, you're, you're looking decent against all these teams that I feel like the Miami Dolphins would win against anyway. You know what I'm saying? So, it, it, you know, I, that's how I really rate the playoffs right now. I think we could be Baltimore. You know, because I don't think Lamar, I think we'll be able to contain Lamar. I think we could be uh, um, the actual, um, what's his name? The the Cleveland Browns, if we were to actually play him. If there was a scenario, I'm just putting out, you know, the teams that's that's making it to the playoffs. I yeah. think we could be, I could, I think we could beat the Browns because I think that defense that Brian Flores has, you know, when you, when you have everybody blitzing and have the corners just on um, guarding their receivers, I think that Baker Mayfield will wind up gooking and, you know, turning, you know, reverting back to last year's Baker Mayfield later in the season when he was fucking up. Um, we played the actual, who else, who else? We play Pittsburgh Steelers. Oh my God, we'll kill Pittsburgh because Pittsburgh, they offense is like trash right now. Ben Roethlisberger looked like it's time to retire. It kind of yeah. looked like it's the right decision that the uh, um, Pittsburgh Steelers wind up making in um, drafting a quarterback, even though Big Ben was kind of pissed off about it, I kind of see why now. Um, so, so yeah, all these teams that's that's um, going to the playoffs in the AFC, I see us um, having a good shot at beating them, if not beating them. So, so the, yeah. you, know, you know, I don't mind um, the the Bills actually um, clinching. Doesn't really matter to me. It's still fuck them. Yeah, a team that will not be making the playoffs and probably won't even be getting Trevor Lawrence anymore <laughs> is those fuck ass New York Jets who fuck me up. I'm sorry I got a curse about this shit, but they fuck me up on the suicide pool. Yeah, man. You remember? I don't know if you remember, but I got the Rams. I picked the Rams to beat the Jets. So your boy, it was a long run. But those fucking Jets, <laughs> I had to fuck it up for your boy. Um, yeah, I, I watched that game, obviously, because I had a lot of riding on it. And speaking of you speaking, you were speaking on somebody gooking. Jared Goof was freaking gooking last <laughs> week. You know, <laughs> like I can't I can't believe like like in the final. I don't know if you was watching it or not, but. In the final moments where it was like third down and whatever, where they had to convert, this dude goes long. Like, why are you going long? Like going for like a deep ball. And then fourth down, he does the same thing again. He goes long. But, like when all you need is a first down to move the chains so I'm, to put yourself in position. So is that yeah. is that because of the coach or is that because – he had nothing open. He ain't had anything in the flats. He didn't have anything, you know, short or was it all deep, you know? Because if it was all deep, I kind of blame that on the head coach for being go goof on, on number two. They were both quick reads, though. Like, he didn't – it's not like he was sitting in the pocket, sitting in the pocket, and then he threw deep. It was like two steps, three – it was one, two, three, and he went deep. I was like that. So he already knew where he was going with the football before he even, like, snapped the football. So – I mean, yeah, it, it's it, it, it sucks. Cool. It sucks for me. Uh, but anyways, uh, the Jets, uh, it's 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 good that for probably all the other teams in the AFC East, because likely right now, if they lose out and Jacksonville loses out, guess who gets Trevor Lawrence? Jacksonville Jets. and Justin Fields, who was kind of gooking last week. I don't know if you saw that game in the Big Ten championship game. He threw a couple of picks. He did not look uh, very efficient. He's out of the Heisman race because of that game. They ended up winning against Northwestern, but for the most part of the game, they were losing. And I actually thought they were going to lose until the end. You know, uh, Ohio State just has better athletes. Northwestern just outcoached them for, for three quarters, basically. So, Justin Fields could be going to the Jets, and that could be good news for everybody else in the AFC East. 
You know, if he goes down to Jacksonville, I'm fine with it. You know, in Jacksonville, I mean, that's where dreams go to die, you know, over there in Jacksonville. Um, Hopefully Trevor Lawrence lives, you know, to, you know, to play more days than what are predicted for him in Jayville and Duval County. But Hey, the, the, that was the only good part about that win. But unfortunately, yeah, the jets killed my dream of, of the suicide pool. Uh, it's on to next year and, and see what's up. But this is, this was actually my longest run. This was my third year doing this. And this was actually like my longest run. And, but anyways, on, on to the next game, man. What you got to say about that game? <laughs> well, I mean, that game, you know, I, I really didn't watch that game. I kind of figured that the Jets was going to lose and they wind up winning the game. Of course, you know, um, it's unfortunate that Marcus, you wind up getting kicked out of the pool, you know. But, but like, like you said, <laughs> uh, we don't get to see Trevor Lawrence twice a year. We don't get to see sunshine raining on our parade, you know, because you remember this is the Sunshine State. And there. <laughs> I need all the sun shining on to a tug of a law. So, um, yeah. you know, it is what it is, you know, unfortunate. But again, like you said, I mean, you had goof at the helm. So, you know, um, it is what it is. You know, I ain't going to talk about that game. I'm not going to give Adam Gates any more shine, especially right. on my show. So, so we yeah. can move on to the next game. And one more thing I want to say is, um, even though I hate the Jets and I, obviously I hated the situation, shout out to Frank Gore um, for not going out as a loser in his final year. I mean, he's from the crib, went to high school at Coral Gables, went to the U. He's, he's a first ballot Hall of Famer. So shout out to him for not going out as a loser because likely this is going to be his last season. Exactly. I, I really wish he would have been on the Dolphins, you know, probably, you know, but but again, you know, when you have somebody like that, you know, you can't keep them bottled up. You got to give them reps. And, you know, we're, we're a rebuilding team right now. Yeah. And, and, you know, it's just something that, you know, is unfortunate, you know, because he was once a Miami Dolphin. Now, again, yeah. that goes on to the next um, actual game. This game was a real good game. It was the Cardinals versus the Eagles. You know, yeah. uh, I kind of said like quarterback magic you know, going on. You know, <laughs> two, two, two quarterbacks that that play for the same team in college. One transferred to that school because you know of Tua. You know, Tonga Valoa. You know, taking his draw because he was gooking in the championship game. You know, um, but but yeah, it is what it is. You know that game. I think the, the the Cardinals won by six points. I think the score was, I think, 33 or 33 to 27, what it was. Yeah, it was a touchdown type of game. Yeah, 33 to 26, you know. I, I, damn, I, I really think that you your score, I think you had said 32. 30 yeah, I think my, my was something close like that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think we both were somewhere around there. But, but yeah, I mean, um, unfortunate I wasn't able to watch this game either, but I did um, see all of the highlights um it really looked like it was a real good game you know um i mean it doesn't help carson Wentz in any way you know because at all people was like damn you know it's more rumblings like yo we need to get this motherfucker off the team so we can go ahead and surround this new guy with with you know talent you know but hey it is what it is you know yeah i hate the philadelphia eagles anyway um i do yeah, like me Kyle, too Kyle murray you know so at the end of the day, and, and DeAndre Hopkins. So, you know, regardless of the fact, I'm going to go ahead and go with them just because of that. So the Eagles, don't fuck with them. You know, I really don't, I don't even like Philly anyway. All the motherfuckers from Philly, the motherfuckers be fresh as fuck. You feel me? <laughs> like, I promise to you, Boston, yeah. Philly, the motherfuckers be fresh as fuck. I ain't going to lie to you, boy. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I can agree with, with that 100%. But, yeah, I saw some of this game on the red zone. Uh, it was a fun game to watch kind of back and forth. Uh, but the real the real um, revelation from this game is that Jalen Hurts is that boy, man. Jalen Hurts is, like, a, a, a really decent quarterback. And I think people forget, like, how good he was in, in, in college. I mean – there's a knock on him because I guess he didn't win as many championships that I guess that they're supposed to win over there at Alabama. And that's Maybe why I'm he, fucking saving. He's a fucking scapegoat. Yeah. 
and then he left, you know, it, it was really that championship game that Tua came in and replaced him because they exactly. were they were surely going to lose that game against Georgia. Yeah, they were Tua, losing. If, yeah, if Tua doesn't come in that game. So I think just with that game and that performance, they were like, okay, well, maybe he's not the guy. He goes to Oklahoma, has another decent season, but Oklahoma's defense notoriously bad. So they're not going to do anything in the playoff. But Jalen Hurts, his his ability to run is, is you know, something that I think was uh, underestimated. And his performance against the Cardinals uh, proves that he can be a legitimate starter uh, in this league. And Carson Wentz is on uh, is on cut watch. You know, basically, I mean, I think they they paid him the money. So it, it, ironically, the Eagles are in the same situation that they were in, I believe, with Nick Foles, where, uh, you, you know, you have two quarterbacks, you know, is more established with the team. And then the other, uh, you know, is winning games for you. Nick Foles won a Super Bowl for the Eagles and then they let him go for for Wentz. So it it was really a bad well, can look back as a as a bad decision, but Nick Foles, you know, he's an average quarterback. He's sometime he, he's one of those quarterbacks. They're like Joe Flacco. They got one spectacular season, and then the next season they're back to average again. But sometimes it depends on the system. You know what I'm saying? Because I mean, he could have been in the right. Finally, found the right system. Look at Tannehill. Tannehill. Does the, I mean? It seemed like he was trash with the Dolphins. He didn't know how to throw a um, deep ball. You know, it, you know, he had a lot of different things. The old line just gave up on him. You know that. I know that. I mean, we seen yeah. him hike the ball, and the, and the old line was still in in, in in their 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 stance. You feel me? And he just got sacked. So so it may be a system thing, you know. And, and but you got to understand, you know, when it comes to the Philadelphia Eagles and any other organization, sometimes you you pay the wrong man. Sometimes, you know, you know, there's all this hype on one person and he ain't that person. Whereas this person that's the diamond in the rough, like Jimmy Butler, comes in and, and, and show you what it is. You know, he finally got paid, you know, from the Miami Heat. But who else was going to give him that money? He didn't want to give right. him that money, you know. So, 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 again, going going back to the Philadelphia Eagles, you know, they just stuck in a, they stuck in a hard place right now. You know, yeah. um, they're going to have to trade Carson Wentz. I would trade him to the fucking Dallas Cowboys. You know, yeah, I, I think it works if, if you trade him to the Dallas Cowboys. I don't think that that is that that person. But again, you don't want you're not going to trade to your rival. So that's the only reason that I think that's right. going to stop. Stop that shit. But but, but yeah. again, he looks like he sh- needs to be a Dallas Cowboy. And, you know, J- uh, um, Jerry Jones don't mind paying paying a quarterback if you know, he feels that quarterback is is the truth. It may, I mean, shit, Carson Wentz don't have no old line in Philadelphia no more. Ain't the same offensive line that he had when he was in when he won um won the Super Bowl. I mean, right. sitting on the bench, but but yeah. but still, that offensive line. I mean, put him behind fucking Dallas Cowboys offensive line. Yeah, I could have sworn they had like four first round picks on the old line that got paid in there for years. Yeah, so you know. Find a way yeah. to get rid of Zeke, and, and, and or or you could go ahead and, and trade Zeke for him. Both of them got bad contracts. You take this, I will take that one. Y'all got no running back, <laughs> you yeah. know? Yeah, I could definitely see that happening. But uh, Philadelphia, uh, they're still in a playoff race. Uh, we'll we'll see what happens there if they if they could win that horrible division of the uh, NFC East. Mm-hmm. But it definitely looks like the Cardinals are are going to. I would say make the playoffs just just with you know the teams that are left uh, in that race. I think uh, the Cardinals could definitely uh, make it, but uh, I don't see them as a real contender moving on uh, in the playoffs. Uh, team that teams that I do see mo- uh, moving on very far are the Chiefs and the Saints, and they had a pretty good game last week. Drew Brees uh, finally came back. Uh, he looked terrible in the first half, uh, but they. I uh, made it a game later on, but the Chiefs are the Chiefs. Uh, you already know who they are and what they are. Uh, their cheat code, and they they came out with with another victory. It's like the Chiefs. the The interesting thing about the Chiefs is that they don't blow teams out. They don't as as dominant as they've been. They they don't look as far as their record is concerned. They don't look dominant on the field so much. 
And I don't know if it's a case of maybe they're they're playing to their level of competition or, you know, they're just, you know, kind of cruising until the playoffs. If it uh, makes I'm sense. not sure it's what just, it is. It's but... kind of like what happened with the Heat, man, when we had the fucking Heatles. You know, like games we're supposed to fucking win, you know, it's fucking close as fuck to the point where you think you're going to lose. Ain't, I'm like, ain't we the cheating team? You feel me? Ain't we the cheat goal? You know, so, yeah. so. You know, I mean, it is what it is, man. I mean, I'm uh, Drew Brees. He he came back. I mean, you got rust. I mean, we did say he was gonna come back with a little bit of rust. I mean, yeah. not just that, but he's an older fucking quarterback. You know, he's a yeah. smaller quarterback, an older quarterback. You know, he just got injured. This is probably one of the reasons why when you see Big Ben, you know, he's not the same person because. You know, he's tired of getting hit, you know, like fuck. Drew, Drew Brees normally don't get hit because he he got a quick arm, you know, quick release. But but God damn, when he do get hit, you get injured. Ain't nobody trying to have no broken ribs. I ain't never had no broken bone, you know, and the people that did have like a broken rib, they say it's hard to breathe. So if it's hard to breathe, then I know it's hard to do anything else. You know, anything I fucking else. I scream my fucking back on my shoulder. I feel like I can't do anything. You feel me? So, so I could even, <laughs> I could imagine, you know, broken ribs. And they say he's healthy, but you know, I do. I, I don't think that he's a hundred percent. They're just saying that because they see that, you know, it's slipping away from him. You know, if it's not one thing, it's another thing. But again, you know, we we are hastening, and we 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 do know. That woo is real. We may not practice it, but we know it's real. Especially live in, in New Orleans, Orleans, too. Exactly. Y'all in Louisiana. <laughs> that's what y'all be on. You know, I don't know if y'all on a team that's on certain shit like that, but but you know, there's a lot of um history that goes um behind the Superdome and which I went through with Katrina, people dying in that facility, you know, all type of yeah. different things, even though it's a different is you know, you cleaned it up, you know. Um, sometimes the spirits is probably still there. And then, you know, it's probably haunting y'all motherfuckers from, from, you know, how you probably treated people. I don't know. You know, I'm not saying y'all yeah. did anything bad, but, but, point. But, but, but I don't know, you know, so, you know, in that game, you know, Kansas city, like, like, look, you know, you can't, you can't fuck up with them. If you get a pick, you got to score. You can't get fig, field goals. If you get a pick, you can't kick it back to them without playing scores of points on the actual board you know, you can go ahead and 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 um um hurry um um their quarterback, you know, um, MVP, what it looks like again, you know, but but you gotta really I don't know if y'all gotta put prices on motherfuckers' heads. I know that's illegal and banned in the motherfucking league, but with that motherfucker after him. Hey, that that's what they did in New Orleans too. Remember um Bounty Gate? There you go. I was in New Orleans too. Greg Williams, Sean Pay <laughs> got 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 um suspended the whole year, lost draft picks. I know. So again, it's just probably all that karma is coming back. But 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 re- regardless of the fact, you know, you're not gonna be Kansas City, you know, pussyfooting or you know not putting gas on their throat from beginning to end because they could score in fucking seconds. You know, and, and yeah. you could be up two touchdowns and, 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 and they scored in three minutes. You're like, how the fuck? We didn't even get a chance to wipe my own ass. Like, what the fuck? You know, so, so yeah, um, it is what it is. Um, yeah, yeah. It, it, regardless, though, I still feel like the Chiefs are, are a team that's going to either make the playoffs or get beat by the Bills. So, to me, it, that, that's, that's how I feel right now. If not, the Dolphins come through with, with a miracle. And if we get to the Super Bowl, uh, that'd be crazy. I don't even want to put it out there yet, you know, but but it could be something epic. And if it does happen, I'm just hoping somebody finds me and just hope that I'm in a safe place. Because if we win the Super Bowl, somebody needs to find me because I'm going to be acting a fool somewhere, I'm not, I'm you know? But, but I know me and you going to be in the same spot. <laughs> Me, you, Chris, a lot of motherfuckers yeah. oh, gonna yeah. have lick on deck. <laughs> yeah, everybody needs to be together for that one. Uh, because man, it's a long time com- coming. But anyways, that's another topic for another day. Uh, we'll move on to the next game, which is the Steelers and the Bengals on Monday night. The Steelers just look. That was another big upset. I think this was like a sixteen point, fifteen point dog. The the Bengals were. I wasn't expecting them to to go out there and win, but the Steelers. Uh, are looking suspect again. Uh, you know, it, it's hard to really fathom this team going really far in the playoffs. 
based on what you've seen from the past few weeks. Uh, this is a team that I said would, would blow out the Bengals. I, I remember saying that, and that didn't happen, you know? So it's, it's a league, unpredictable league at times. The Bengals are going nowhere. They are a rebuilding team waiting for next year. Other, uh, I, I think they're going to be pretty decent for next year if they get some guys back. I mean, um, their D lineman who, who's been dominant for years, who's from the crib, I, I, his name escapes me right now. He's been injured pretty much all year. And uh, and they were they were without their rookie quarterback, Joe Burrow. I mean, they were playing pretty decent with him. But this, this game's more about the Steelers. Steelers are pretenders. I don't believe in them at all. The loss of Bud Dupree and – um, the other the other dude from the from the crib, uh, Devin Bush, Devin Bush also from the crib got her ACL injury. Those two linebackers in the middle, when you're missing those two linebackers, it's just not it's not the same team. So I think based on what I've seen from Monday night from the Steelers, they're going to be out in the first round. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, I hear what you're saying about with the linebackers being injured. Two young linebackers is like kind of your new heart and soul of your, your defense besides Fitzpatrick, you know, but, but that doesn't change anything on offense for me. <laughs> like, even if they were there, like big Ben still looked like big Ben. I don't know. Are you, are you doing this because you're trying to play certain people, you know, like let's lose these games so we can go ahead and play possum and play the team that we really want to play. I don't know because that better be that better be the, the the case because you guys do not look nothing like what I'm normally known for seeing when I see the Pittsburgh Steelers. I mean, we kind of said that the Ravens don't look like the Ravens anymore. Pittsburgh Steelers don't look like the Pittsburgh Steelers anymore. Yeah, yeah, it's it's, a, it's it's all about Buffalo, us, and and uh, the Chiefs. Now, exactly. Those are like the new three contenders in the AFC. Exactly. Yeah. So so you know. I mean, did I did I did I care that they they actually lost? I didn't really care if they lost or if they won. I mean, it was shocking. I mean, they don't really help Cincinnati because they had lost two games. They kind of was in the works to have like even even another another one, number one or number two pick. Now I don't know where they where they at winning three games. You know what yeah. I mean? So so I mean, if you're trying to surround your young quarterback. Um, with talent, you know, I want to make sure that, you know, I get the first or the second pick, you know, technically, you know, I kind of expected them to win one game this season. They already won two, you know, now they won three, but, but, you know, it all depends on if, if Burrow come back, cause come back the same yeah. way he was because like he injured, like not just his ACL, the MCL, PCL, he changed. He, he oh, injured yeah, a, one of those. Yeah. He injured a whole lot of shit down there. Now it may not, really change too much about him, but it can because we know he's a running quarterback too. Yeah. You know, it may it may make him not want to run anymore. You know, I you know, I didn't see the play how he got injured, but from from what you know I heard or, or um it was like a serious injury. But regardless of the fact, Steelers, they lost. Who cares? You know, I feel extra better because his loyalty over here here, Fitzpatrick bitch ass wanted to leave the Dolphins. You're gone. You know, yeah, we're yeah. winning, and I don't mind fucking playing y'all in the first round and eliminating your ass and having your ass like, damn, you should have been at the crib. But. Absolutely. All right, so on to Christmas, bro. It's Christmas week. You, you done You done with your Christmas shopping, bro? Oh, yeah, actually. You feel me? I actually finally did a finish today. My, my wife was done a long time ago, but everybody else, <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Because that's the one that you got to stash the, stash the gift, you know? You can't, yeah. you can't get it last minute. She's going to start peeping but, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we <laughs> we on the same boat, man. Because of with me is that I ordered her gift, and, it, and right now it's it's really I, I got to make sure I'm not speaking too loud, but <laughs> it's it's still at the store, so I still have to you know pick it up. So that makes it so I don't have to. I'm gonna have to do that tomorrow, though. Like oh, I have goodness. to I have to get up early, early, <laughs> and just and just you know it's already ordered. So I just have to go and pick up. They got curbside pickup, so they just gonna bring it to my car. Hey, um, so I got that squared away. But there's still some other gifts that I have to get. I do this every year too. Like every year, I wait to the last day 
to shop, you know what I'm saying? Be like and, all the way with Arnold yeah. Schwarzenegger. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, man. It happens every year for me. I mean, what, what happens really every year is that my wife, she does most of all the shopping. She shops for kind of both of us as far as, like, who we're getting gifts for or whatnot. And yeah, then same. who she forgets or who she, you know, thinks about, like, hey, I didn't get this or that. Then I got to, you know, be Mr. Cleanup Man, like BG. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> and, and, like, you know, shop for all of the rest on the last day. And so that's what's going to happen tomorrow, though. Mm. But uh, but anyways, but Christmas Day, for the first time in forever, we actually have a football game on Christmas Day. Well, I don't even think that's ever happened, period, as long as I, I can remember. Either. We've got a football game on Christmas Day. We actually have football Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday for four straight days for the first time ever. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, so that game on Friday is the Vikings and the Saints. We talked about the Saints a little bit. Uh, I, this is just kind of a quick pick uh, for me. I feel like the Saints will win this game over the Vikings. The Vikings have looked terrible for the last couple of weeks. I think defenses are just starting to kind of figure them out. Yeah, as long as you stack the buck, uh, stack the box on Dalvin Cook, and you force uh, Kirk Cousins to throw, and you don't let Thielen and Jefferson beat you deep. Jefferson, a rookie Pro Bowl selection, by the way. Uh, as long as you don't let those boys beat you deep, you can beat the Vikings. You know, and I think that's what teams are figuring out with the Vikings. So I think the Saints win this game uh, relatively easy. Uh, I would say twenty-seven. Uh, 17 Saints. Yeah, you know, same same exact, you know, pick. Saints are going to go ahead and, you know, um, they're going to redeem themselves after the loss against Kansas City. They're, you know, they don't care how they win it as long as they stay in the fight, in the race, and, you know, in the NFC. I'm not sure if it's squared away who who's the, you know, number one, um, you know, team in the NFC right now, division-wise. So, you know, I think that you know, the NFC, the Saints do um, hold a lot of chips in their hands right now. Drew Brees is, you know, I mean, he's at the end of his career right now. You know, you do not want to not make the playoffs or make the playoffs and get eliminated in the playoffs after injury, after this, that, and the other. You don't want to lose late, late, late games in the season. You know, um, like you said, um, I don't remember ever seeing a football game on Christmas. It's always been basketball. So right. um, I, I really think that, you know, I don't really think nobody going to really watch this game, you know, because everybody going to really watch the NBA. Right, but exactly. but but this is going to be a quick game. And, you know, this, the Saints going to go ahead and win 28 to 10. All right. Uh, so let's just fast forward to the Dolphins game so we could just finish off the NFL. I mean, the Dolphins play on Saturday, Saturday night in a game that they have to win against the Raiders. Uh, a game that's trying to fight for their lives in the playoffs, but they have been looking real suspect as of late. Josh Jacobs, the running back, is a running back I love to watch. He's one of those up-and-coming young running backs that I think is going to be great for a bunch of years to come. But the Raiders just look suspect on, on, on defense, um, and they're inconsistent on offense. I think this is a team, you know, I hate to say this in this way, but we're like the new Patriots, you know, and we're like, I feel like we have a standard and teams like this don't reach up to this standard, you know? So I feel like this is a game that we obviously got to win. Uh, we're going to Las Vegas for this game. So it is a road game, but still no crowd. So no, no, it's because of COVID. So I think the Dolphins come out, you know, win the game. Also, Miles Gaskin is going to be back. For this game, so you got Gaskin and Ahmed and Brita in the, and Brita in the backfield. You know, I don't think we get Gasecki or Devontae Park Parker back, but just those three running backs alone and those other tight ends seem to be filling in pretty, you know, well. Uh, and hopefully, we get some some of those uh, defenders uh, back, like those linebackers, like uh, Van Ginkle and Van Noy, uh back for this game as well. I think the, the Dolphins the Dolphin. win this game very similar to that Patriots game. Uh, I would say about, let me say, 26-13. Dolphins pull out the victory on Saturday night. Yeah, and I, you know, you know, I'm not going against the Dolphins, especially not right now. 
fuck that. You know, even if I thought they were gonna lose, I was gonna say they're gonna win. <laughs> you know, that's where that home cooking, you know, comes in. Home so, team, baby. You know, um, I think the Dolphins are gonna go ahead and dominate this game. Um, I think they're gonna start off slow. You know, um, when I say dominate this game, I'm not talking score wise. I'm just talking about the whole game. They're just gonna in dominate the trenches. In the trenches, you know, um, having um, Derek Carr look suspect, more suspect than he already is. We already told you about him in our previous podcast. Um, I just think that the Dolphins are going to do what they've been doing. They're going to keep, you know, um, showing these motherfuckers that to us, he's our franchise quarterback. We're going to keep showing them that we have a complete team now that we have a running game, it seems like. Um, we're, 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 we're a team that's next, next man up, you know. And I used to always think that was cliche. Next man it up, is but it is definitely next man up when you talk about the Dolphins, because all our running backs was injured, and every running back that comes in, you know, steps up to the plate, you know. And, and same thing with the wide right receivers, you know. Same thing with the tight ends. I told you last week, like we got like a plethora of tight ends right now. Yeah, I'm mad that um our tight end was injured. You know, I think he's injured for the season. Hopefully, he's not Gasecki. But I told you about our other our, um, um, tight ends, and they're doing the same thing. So, so again, uh, remember, like I said, you know, Tua is going to be the Tom Brady. The Tom, when Tom Brady first came in the league, his his defense won him the games. He was not Tom Brady six championships, yeah. even though he stole a lot of them. But again, he wind up having a great uh, um kicker that won him games. Miami have a great kicker that have been winning us games. He yeah. has a, a, a good head coach, you know. We already know about Bill Belichick, you know. Even though I call him Belichick, I mean, other people are going to say he's a Hall of Famer. Doesn't matter, you know. You have, you have uh, again, a great defense. Bill Belichick was a defensive-minded coach, you know, when he had Teddy Bruschi and all them other guys on the actual team. You know, I mean, yo – it is, you know, it, it is what, you know, Mike Vrabel, you know, and all these 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 guys when when there were the younger, um, well, older, older team, but younger New England as far as, you know, with the, yeah. the infamy, the empire, you know. Right. So so again, we have the defense like New England. We have the special teams like New England. We have it looks like we have a running game like New England because New England never had a running game. They only had Corey Dillon. We have a, a, a quarterback in Tua just like Tom Brady. Don't normally throw the deep ball, can't throw the deep ball if he really, really, really ha- had to, but we're going to beat you with the first downs. We're going to beat you with the first and fives, you know, certain things like that. So, again, it is what it is. The Dolphins going to go ahead and win this game. I think it's going to be a game similar to last week, 21-17. to 17. Okay, perfect. Uh, I think we should just go ahead and fast forward to the NBA um nba games on christmas uh day christmas day games on christmas uh that that uh nba games on christmas i mean is is the tradition and the heat are back on christmas day which is great obviously because of the success in the bubble with them going to the nba finals lands your miami heat on a Christmas Day game against who? The New Orleans Zion. Pelicans. Mm-hmm. And Zion. Zion, you know, Zion is the superstar uh, rookie uh, in college who, you know, he's, you know, he's a name. He's really a name right now because he's injured for most of the season last season, but expected to do big things. He's been the most hyped up rookie out of the NBA since LeBron James. So we'll see what he does. I don't think he does anything against the Heat because the Heat um, have team defense. And we usually don't let one player outshine us unless you are just having a ridiculous shooting game, which Zion has at times. His first game actually was a was a crazy shooting game. He hit like four or five threes. But Zion, I don't think, can do enough against the Heat. Uh, but it'll be interesting to kind of see them you know, in the afternoon, Christmas, you know, by that time I'm, I'm either open up, opening up my presents or, you know, uh, you know, having some eggnog, early eggnog or whatever. I'm definitely going to so, have that with some lit. 
Yeah, you know, we got the criminals on deck. <laughs> you already know, <laughs> you know, so it, it's, it's great to see the Heat play early on Christmas. So you get that out the way, you can chill for the rest of the day. But I think they come out and, and they win the game against the Pelicans. They're playing right now against the uh, Magic uh, opening night is at Orlando um, so right down. now. They're up by one in the first quarter. Uh, it's still early, but um, we'll, we'll see what they do. But uh, the NBA is back already here on Christmas week. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. And like I said, you know, um, I'm happy that the Heat, you know, actually, you know, they're giving us some type of credit, you know, giving us, you know, this game on Christmas Day. You know, I kind of had got used to it when we were playing when when we had the Heatles over here and, and we always was playing on Christmas, you know, or, or any other holiday, world. you know. Mm-hmm. But but again, you know, um, I think we're going to beat, you know, the Pelicans just because we're just a better team. You know, um, right for me, it's not, oh, my God, the Heat are playing again. It's just me. You know, I'm trying to see how they're looking with their their new roster. That's that's all I'm get in front of the yeah. game. I don't care if it's a blowout. I just want to win. You know, a, a, a win is a win. I don't care if it's early. I don't care if it's late. You know, this this win that mean nothing right now because it's the first game. It's going to be something later on in the season because I do see a lot of teams last year in the East not being so well, being a lot better. Brooklyn, you know, you have other teams. The Hawks, you know, of course you got the Boston Celtics, you know, so – this game is just going to be another game for me. It's going to be another game. Of course, I'm going to be happy to watch it. It's early, like you said. I get to vibe the rest of the game. I'm not watching the Lakers game. Don't give a fuck about them. I'm not watching about those later games. Don't care. It's time to be vibing. I'm pretty sure you're going to be vibing with wifey anyway also. She's yeah. going to tell you, you already watched the Heat game. Now we yeah, get the vibe. Yeah. It's Christmas. Ain't no more high school football. And it's Yeah, right. and, yeah that too. And the fact that. I finally get some days off. I actually like checked like this is my this is going to be like my first full day off without like working uh, like during the day or having a game since the 5th of December. So I went like 20 days straight, you know, so I'm going to have some days off. I'm definitely going to be chilling, relaxing. You already know tomorrow is a crazy shopping day, but Christmas is going to be a chilled out vibe day and Saturday too is also going to be a chilled out vibe out day. And the NBA too is like not something I really watch early, to be honest. I'll watch the Christmas day games if it's on, but it's not a priority for me. NBA games period are not really a priority for me early in the season. Um, I usually kind of start watching regular season games, maybe after the all-star break to really kind of see who's going to make the playoffs or not. But, um, but yeah, like NBA is is not that significant to me. Um, but what will be significant for the Heat down the line is who is going to be competing with them in the East. And we do get two teams that are playing each other on Christmas with the Nets and the Celtics, which I too I think are the two best teams in the East besides the Heat. So you know, if you ain't doing nothing, he, the two best or the second the and two third best, best teams besides the Heat. Besides oh, okay, the Heat. So, Oh, it's number one. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, That's yeah. Make sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Two and three. Like two, three or two A and two B is okay. the Celtics and the Nets to me. Um, I didn't see the game yesterday because the Nets actually played Golden State. I seen it. But, but they blew out Golden State. So uh tell me, tell me how they look. Uh, they look they look good. They they actually was, you know, even Kevin Durant was playing defense. I think he got three steals the first few minutes that he played. You know, he had a lot of rust on him still. I mean, he still he still was getting his shot, if that's what people are asking. Or does he look timid? No, nah, he don't look timid. He looked the same way. You just tell that he wasn't playing basketball for a while. But he still got the shot. It just wasn't the shot that he normally makes. Like, he's normally a 95% going in. Last night, it was like maybe 80% going in, which is not mm-hmm. bad, but that's not him. We know what he do. Right. So, you know. But that's the whole point of having someone like Kyrie on your team. Kyrie was the best player on the court last night. You know, he, he you know, he was scoring everywhere. You know, he rarely missed. I think he only mm. missed like five shots. You know, wow. I think they had the same amount of shots up. It's just that, you know, he made majority of them. He made shots close to the 
to the to the logo. He made shots, you know, here, there, everywhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow. But, but okay. yeah, they look good. Defense look good. You know, I already care less about the other players. Don't really know their names so much right now. Um, mm. But but for the most part, they look like the Brooklyn Nets without Kyrie and Kevin Durant when they were in the bubble. They were a good team. So they yeah. look like that team with Kyrie Plus and Kevin days. Durant. Right. So that just <laughs> explains everything. So it is what it is, you know. I think. So I think, who, do you think? Um, who who do you think is gonna make it uh, to the Eastern Conference Finals against the Heat? I think it's gonna be the Brooklyn Nets. You think it's the Nets? So it's the Nets and the Heat Eastern Conference. Yeah, I think it's the Nets and the Heat. You know, right. and, and 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 you know. I, I think the Heat eventually makes it to the championship, hopefully, you know, but but I, I think everybody and even LeBron want Kevin Durant. He want Kevin Durant and he want Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving for talking shit in the beginning of the yeah. season. You know, Damn, and, I, I didn't yeah, even think yeah, about yeah. it. That would be a great storyline. That's what ESPN wants. That's what all, all the media people and the and public everybody wants. Everybody saying LeBron is, is, is you know, he's got to give that torch, you know, and – People don't want to give it to Kevin Durant because you got them rings with a loaded Golden State Warriors. So the only way that yeah. you can get dismantled, this torch, is if you do it with your own team, you know? Yeah. And, and and that's what a guy in Kyrie that don't like LeBron just as much as you. So it's yeah. it's perfect for me. But for yeah, that it's game, definitely a storyline to watch this season is uh is the Nets and how good they do. Who do you think gonna win that game? The Nets and the Celtics. I think the Nets is gonna go ahead and win that game. Um, can't really tell you the score. I just know they're gonna win. I I don't know, man. Like, because uh, I didn't really see the game last night. I don't really know. Like, but but how, but but how but you didn't are. see the game. But remember what I told you. I did see a they score. Look, I was like, they Damn. look. See, but again, <laughs> you didn't see the game. But they look like the Brooklyn Nets without Kyrie and Kevin Durant when they were in a bubble when they were like looking deadly. You know right. what I'm saying? That's what they look like. <laughs> so based off of that, of what you said, I would say maybe the Nets uh, Nets pulled that one out. Um. We'll see. Um, the Nets look good against the Golden State Warriors. Golden State Warriors are definitely taking a step back this year uh, against the Bucks on uh, this uh, Christmas as well. Golden State against the Bucks, who people have as as a favorite to uh, contend in the East. Let's just say contend in the East, but I don't see the Bucks going anywhere you know the game i could really care less about it's really just more about these two teams like where are they they're kind of in the middle of the pack to me they're not really contenders i don't really see them really going that far as far as you know making it to the nba finals when you got teams like the heat the nets and the celtics because i think the celtics are better than milwaukee so i think milwaukee is like that four seed yep. in the east to me uh, they'll be battling maybe with Philly uh, for the four or five uh, spot. Uh, but Golden State, you know, I feel like this is a team that's on the lower half of the playoffs. I think there's other teams that are way better than them. I think uh, I think Utah is a, is a better team than them. I think Dallas is a better team than them. I think that obviously the Clippers, who will touch on the Lakers in a little bit, um, are a better team than them. Obviously the Lakers. Um, Houston, I think, might take a step back. You know, you never know. I think they're kind of there with, with, with Houston to me. And uh, a lot of news came out on James Harden this week. And we'll talk about that on the podcast Saturday uh, about James Harden. But, uh, yeah, these two teams I, I really don't care for too much. But if I had to pick a winner, I'd say maybe the Bucks win this game. The Bucks going to win this game. Clay Thompson is not, in, is not on the team right now because of, of an injury for the remainder of the season. And like I told you, Steph Curry, he's not that great. You feel me? When he makes it to the playoffs and they they lock on him on defense, he's not the same person. So regardless if you got that shot, Kyrie's going to do it with the defense or without the defense on him. Steph Curry, it has to be picture perfect. You know what I'm saying? Like when, 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 when it's a close game and, and there's a lot riding on him, he typically would make that shot, but I think for certain teams, if he's playing LeBron, if he's playing KD, I think that he's going to wind up turning 
pussy. Like you know, that's why that's why he's, he 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 want to get braised now because he look he you know everybody look at, at him like he's soft. <laughs> you know, hey man. man, stop stop hating on my boy Steph, uh, man. I, 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 I fuck with Steph, I fuck uh, with Steph, but you gotta understand though. You know, like I look at him like a soft, pretty boy. Everybody uh, looks at looks at him that way. Us light skinned dudes, you know, we get that bad rep. I don't know? look at you the same way. You're <laughs> not all, even the it's same. Good. You're not even the same complexion. You light skin. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm just regular too. light. I'm regular light skin. He's more like high yellow. Like, yeah, he's like exactly. Nah. Come on, man. Like, <laughs> nah, <know>. man. <laughs> Come on, man. But yeah, you know, I, I don't like the Braves. Uh, who, to be honest, I don't like the Braves. Mean, I, didn't, I didn't like D Wade when he D Wade did the Braves. I was like, nah, man, stop doing the Braves, man. The Braves are out. The Braves were like early two thousands, like nineties, like not not even UD rocking the Braves no more. And he was rocking the Braves for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Like why why do the Braves, Steph? I mean, just keep uh, keep with your little baby fro. But yeah. I think I think Steph Curry to me is still a better player than Kyrie. I, I I don't you know Kyrie. I mean, he comes up big sometimes, but you know sometimes he comes up small. And and, and other times, I mean, it's, it's kind of the same with Steph Curry. I mean. They both, I agree with what you said. When they game plan against Steph Curry, you know, he's just an average player. He's not spectacular uh, Curry. Uh, but the thing about Kyrie Irving is that he's usually playing with another really big superstar. You know, like he's been playing with LeBron all these years. I mean, those years when he was by himself with Boston, where was he? Disappeared. You know, he wasn't, he wasn't there at all like i don't even i barely even remember kyrie irving on the boston celtics because he was just so invisible most of the time and mostly injured so we'll we'll see we'll see what happens with them but um yeah golden state uh we both agree is gonna lose this game they're taking a step back but uh who do you think is gonna win uh mvp this year mvp i mean they saying it they trying to give it a luca I know they trying to give it to Luca, and then you know our our boy our boy Brian loves Luca. I don't know if you know how much Brian love um Chris brother Brian loves Luca. He loves Luca Doncic, bro. Saying, like saying he's, got, he's got he's got he's got a love affair. Probably that's love why he be coming through. He be talking about Luca. You feel me? I, oh, I okay. So that. you already know. <laughs> yeah, I just thought that he was just talking basketball. But since you 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 talking about it right now, then I mean that you know, hey. Hey, don't don't front. Uh, he's a great player. Luca's a great player, but the MVP <laughs> is more about uh, teams that are really successful, you know. And to me, like basically from what you said to Kevin, it's Kevin Durant to lose. You know, I think if if Kevin Durant has a Kevin Durant type of season, then I think Kevin Durant is going to be the MVP uh, of this league. I mean, you got to be. Uh, cognizant of of Giannis just because he he's a stats monster. He's a stats monster. He gets a lot of rebounds. He gets block shots. He scores. I'll give it you to know. So he, Giannis, and you know I can't stand LeBron. I'll give I it can't to stand LeBron. LeBron either. But LeBron I I mean deserved that before Giannis. So yeah, oh yeah. And the KD, I, I would I have agree. either KD, LeBron, or fucking Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler. Yeah, I'm not going to give it to Jimmy man. Butler. Yeah, of, of course, course. he's my that, MVP, like, but exactly. they ain't going to give it to like, him. Most valuable player, like, on your team? Like, without Jimmy Butler, like, yo, the Heat is not the same team. Like, yeah, the Heat are like a 6-7 seed probably without Jimmy Buckets. Exactly. So, you know, and LeBron without LeBron, AD can't do what he does with the Lakers. Same. I'd say they're about a six, five seed without LeBron, you know, because they're, they're like the Pelicans, you know, you take LeBron off the team that they, they, they didn't, they didn't know Pelicans with the, um, the so, team that so. AD was with but, before man. he came to the Lakers. I, but, don't, um, I don't even want to talk about the Lakers game. I think the fucking Lakers going to, if LeBron plays, if LeBron plays, the Lakers win, you know, and, but yeah, um, the only thing about that game is that we do get to see Luca. You know, we do get to see okay, what's all the hype about? Yeah, let's do it. Let's see you do it against the best team in the league. Okay, because to me, because to me, uh, on you know the Heat, they're great. They're a great team. But right now, I feel like the Lakers are the best team in the league, and yeah. I feel like they're going to win the championship again because to me, they're better than last season. Yeah. When you add the players that they added, 
you know, to this season. And then they already have the chemistry that they got. You know, we are pretty much the same team. You know, we are going to be there. We're, we're probably going to make it to the finals again. But if we make it to the finals against the Lakers, against that Laker team, and they're completely healthy, I don't see us beating them in a, in a seven game series, to be honest. You know, even if we're like completely healthy, we probably push it to game seven, maybe. But, you know, I, I don't see that. I don't see us beating the Lakers, which is unfortunate for me to say because I can't stand LeBron and the Lakers. I do not want to see them win. I couldn't stand the fact that they beat my Heat in the NBA finals. Happy that we made it, but. You know, I think it, it's destined for the Lakers to repeat as champions. Yeah, I don't want to say that, so I'm not going to say that. But they look, <laughs> they look good this year. You know? so, <laughs> you're just going to keep it at that. <laughs> <laughs> just going to keep it at that. They look good. Oh, yeah. yeah, I feel yeah, you, man. You know, um, it is what it is. That's my predictions. So well, you got anything on the Benjamin report? This, this. Um, yeah, the Benjamin report. Uh, it uh, it comes to basically an end with the with the high school football season. I do want to just say the Tri County Championship also came to an end. Our team NMB ended up losing bad to Dillard. Remember, I was saying like, man, I saw Dillard and Dillard looked really good. Yeah. Uh, but I picked NMB anyway because home team. But uh, yeah, they 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 took it to NMB for that six eight one eight gold championship uh atlantic out of palm beach which is the best team out of palm beach every year atlantic del rey you know is in the hood over there in del rey i don't know if you know that del rey has a hood but it does <laughs> yeah del rey beach has a has a hood and then it's the public school in the hood basically and they always have the best players come out of atlantic they won the 7 eight championship and then columbus pulled out the victory against deerfield beach Columbus, arguably one of the top 10 teams. They just didn't play in the state championship this year. They won 8-8 last year. So they obviously one of the best teams. Um, their quarterback, Fernando Mendoza, I've talked about before. Chris Gibbert, one of the top receivers, slot receivers. He's a senior. He's uh, highly under-recruited. He came up with a big play. I uh, posted that on my, on my Instagram, just uh, one of the biggest plays from that game. So they were able to edge out a loaded Deerfield Beach team, which is loaded every year. So the um, Tri County Championship came to an end this week, and the state championships. Obviously, I was up there in Tallahassee, saw you know most of the games um, in person. Um, South Florida ended up winning five out of the eight state championships. Uh, the last of which, 7A, St. Thomas Aquinas won their 12th state championship. They took the lead in the state, so they have the most state championships. So you can argue that it, they are the best team in the history of high school football in the state of Florida. They did it behind the, the running game of, of uh, Hankerson. Uh, this kid, Junior this kid here is, 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 is a dog. I mean, he's small. I mean, he's, he's about my size, you know, but he's built like a tank and he's got speed. So the, this player here is, is, is somebody to look out for, for next year. Hopefully he gets some love from the hurricanes because to me, he's the best running back in South Florida for next season. So uh, watch out for him. And then also, in 8A, Seminole uh, came out and won, not from, you know, not from uh, South Florida, from Central Florida. So they came out and they won against Osceola, which I predicted uh, to happen. They blew out Osceola Kissimmee. 6A, Miami Central uh, looked dominant again. They always look dominant in the championship game. Okay. They were clicking on all cylinders. Their quarterback lights out, sophomore, look great. Um, they have pretty much their entire defense coming back, except for Terrence Lewis, T2, who is still trying to decide on which team he, he's going to. He decommitted from Tennessee, but the Hurricanes are not on the radar uh, for, for Terrence Lewis from what I gathered from him. It's uh, Maryland and Tennessee are the two teams Maryland. that – 
Yeah, apparently he developed a relationship with one of the coaches out of Maryland. Um, you know, but um, I don't know how to say this, but don't be too sad uh, that you were not possibly getting Terrence Lewis. I mean, he's a great player, but um, I'm not sure if he is a hurricane guy. And I'm just going to leave it at that. All right. So. Don't be too sad about not getting him. I would be sad about losing these other two kids at, at Miami Central who went to Texas A&M. A lot, I've heard there's a lot of uh, this that, you know, happened to maybe influence their decision. But you got Mari Daniels, who's a beast at running back, and then you Keith Brown, who is a great athlete on offense and defense, defensive back and receiver, who are going to Texas A&M for Miami Central. But they look absolutely dominant in this game. Some other players to look out for that the Hurricanes should be recruiting is Wesley Bassaint, uh, a defensive end, uh, who I mentioned it was Florida State and Miami that he was thinking about. And then Ruben Bain, who is a kid who's a sophomore, who is just a dominant player. These two players are must-gets for the Hurricanes, I think. You have to get both of these players. They're dominant defensive linebacker, edge rusher type of players, uh, very versatile so those are the two players that you want to get. James Williams, um, the five-star recruit uh, signed to Miami, looked pretty good against uh, against Rickards on Friday night. They ended up winning and beating Rickards, so they won the 5A state championship. So American Heritage bringing it home for Broward County. Cardinal Gibbons obviously uh, won as well. So – I'll just tell you my top teams, uh, my top five teams of the state championship week. Uh, to me, Miami Central looked the most dominant, but I would love to see a game against them against Cardinal Gibbons uh, because Cardinal Gibbons looked absolutely dominant as well. Miami Central had the one loss against Miami Northwestern. And we know, yeah, that's a great team, but American Heritage beat Miami Northwestern. So to me, I feel like that puts Cardinal Gibbons ahead of Miami Central. But of course, everybody at Dade County would hate me for saying that. <laughs> and be like, how you gonna put how you gonna put Miami Central? Then you know, not number one. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them number one because you know I love my life. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so Miami Central, I would have to say is number one. I'll put Cardinal Gibbons number two because Cardinal Gibbons did beat St. Thomas Aquinas, and they were one or two plays away from beating. American Heritage, but American Heritage has two losses this season. One of those losses went to Jacksonville uh, Trinity Christian, who beat Chaminade in the championship game this week. Um, so they're not number one uh, or number two or three. I put them at four. American Heritage at four. Uh, Cardinal Gibbons at two. St. Thomas um, at three. And then at five, it's pretty much a, kind of a toss-up between either uh, – Seminole and Trinity Christian. Trinity Christian looked pretty good, but I think yeah, you, you, you got you got to give it to to Seminole. You know, just the way that they look, they they look pretty dominant. Um, at uh, um, in Tallahassee, but you would love to see a game against them against Columbus, and unfortunately, unfortunately, COVID stopped that from happening. I uh, think the only reason why pe people will say the only reason why a Central Florida team won a championship is because of COVID, because Columbus would have been in that game likely against Seminole, which would have been a great game. So I would have to say there's a tie for five with Columbus and Seminole. So those are my top five, my final top five for the year. Of course, we move into recruiting season. Uh, we'll, we'll see who else Miami is targeting. I'll give you some updates on that. Uh, I'm still up in the air if I'm going to be at the bowl game uh, next week, uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll give you an update on, on Saturday. I should have an answer by sometime tomorrow um, if I'll be at the bowl game. So we'll see what the Canes do uh, in recruiting this this offseason because they want to build on the momentum that they built up this year with getting all those South Florida kids. But uh, that that's it for the Benjamin Report. And that's it for us here on the Mark West Sports Podcast. See Merry Christmas to yeah. everybody. Mm -hmm.
happy Hanukkah, happy Kwanzaa, mm-hmm. you know, um, and uh, we'll see you again after Christmas. Peace. Peace. Go heat. Oh, yeah, I already know. <laughs> <laughs>